Fred Jeanette reached out to the manager of the Star Piano Store in Chicago, Fred Wiggins, to check out some of the local groups, hoping to identify some new acts for the studio. Fred Wiggins is the contact with a club called the Friars Inn, which was very close to their piano store, and a young group called the New Orleans Rhythm Kings are playing there. So they go to the Friars Inn and watch these guys play. Now let's start recording these guys in a meaningful way, which they do. The, the very important thing about uh, Jeanette Records and Star Piano is that it's in Richmond, Indiana. And when they expand the, the facilities in 1920, they have the only permanent recording facility essentially between New York and San Francisco. They're able to find local or regional musicians and cost-effectively bring them into a studio to record. So they have essentially a monopoly on middle America. Jeanette made their first recordings with the New Orleans Rhythm Kings in 1922, and their records were widely popular. The New Orleans Rhythm Kings, they were a white band comprised mostly of musicians from New Orleans. They were real characters, and they had adopted this jazz style they learned mostly from the African Americans and Creoles in New Orleans. It was incredibly profitable, uh, and it sort of proved this sort of pipeline between Richmond and Chicago. 